my car taught me a lesson. And I don't mean like my car was being a malicious dick and was like, oh my god, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You think you can do something you can't do? Shit. No. I mean, my car taught me a lesson in the sense that I wanted to learn how to do more things on my own, mechanically speaking. And I felt that I would be capable of it, but I had no experience in it, really, other than being there when they told me how <laughs> I had fucked it up in some way. <laughs> I've broken a lot of things on cars when I was younger. Not anymore. The only reason it's broken down now is because I've run that poor girl into the ground. So she deserves the busted out she's doing. And I get it. I understand. But, damn day. So, she is definitely giving me what for on the laundry list of things that I'm learning to do myself. Like, we did the radiator and the fan. We did the, I did the thermostat, and I did the brakes, and I'm doing the transmission cooling lines now. That probably looks so nasty, you guys, because, like, oh my god, it's bubbling. Yeah, but I really don't care because it's my set, and I'm the only one drinking it because the baby can't drink it. This is not honey boo boo, and Gary doesn't really drink it, so that's a little right there. That's mine. That's mine. If I want to spit all up in it and drink it back, that's my choice. I won't, and I really don't think about it like that, because I try to keep my mouth, like, really spitless when I do that, but just saying, if it came up in your mind, I'm coming at you. Excuse me. So that made me do it. Um, so, I'm learning a lot of different things on the car, and I'm doing them. There are definite learning curves. There are curveballs <laughs> with pretty much every fucking thing, but it doesn't matter. Like, I went into the store to get a part which put me a day behind anyway today on um, my way home from work. My sister gave me a ride. Thanks. And they w didn't have the part, and they were confused. They weren't even entirely sure as to what part it was any more than I did. And they were like, yeah, you're probably going to have to go online, or you're going to have to possibly check with the dealership. And I'm just like... Yeah, no, absolutely not. I don't have time for that. I'm like, I have to be back at work on Monday. I'm not doing this crap. This needs to get fixed ASAP. A motherfucking sap. I was like, I saw some dude saw it off, but I figured you guys would at least have the freaking part. I mean, seriously, what the shit? Why do you guys bother having things online that tell me that they fit my car when they don't fucking fit my car. I would have to, what, retrofit my car for it to fit my car? Then it doesn't really fucking fit my car to an exact fit, does it? No, it doesn't. Fucking dickweeds. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't really like to do that. I don't normally have to do that. 
tends to be cars to bring it out. Like when I'm driving, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I will cuss somebody out so fucking fast. Or just when they're rude in the simplest way when there's no reason to be rude. Like, if you pass by somebody and you make explicit fucking eye contact. I know good and well you saw me. You know I fucking saw you saw me. I smiled at you. You went stone face. Fuck you. Seriously? Oh. But we'll probably get more in-depth into things like that on a I Call Bullshit video or something. Or maybe I'll just start making rant videos every once in a while. Like maybe once a month. I'll just sit here for a little while and just bitch about shit. I love to love people and I love to be happy and joyous and that's the side of the scale that I like to be on but I am human and I do get annoyed and there are times when the thing that is running through my head is nothing but pummeling the fuck out of somebody. But I do a woosa, I move on, I get on with my life. So, what my car has really taught me is that I am as capable as I think I am. I thought I could do it. I wasn't sure that I could do it, but I felt that I could do it, despite the lack of confidence of so many others around me. <coughs> yeah, you dick walkers. Mm -hmm. Lots of you. Just kept looking at me like I was crazy. Like, so... And then I'd explain to them what they're, I'm doing, and then they're like, oh, I guess you actually understand. Like, bitch, did I really have to explain to you that I knew that I knew what I was doing for you to actually have a look on your face that, oh, she might not be a just girly girl? Why the fuck else am I standing in the store buying this shit? Does it look like I have a fucking list? No. So what, you think I'm just buying these parts for my boyfriend so he can do it? Fuck you. Okay, like I said, this is really hitting a nerve. This is a low note. This is... This is going off on a crazy train, and we are going to pull this bitch back on the rails to get to the good side of it, which is, I am as capable as I think I am. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck what everybody else thought. This is going to sound so narcissistic. I was right. I had a feeling that I could do something. I had a desire to do something. I had the drive to get it fucking done. I am capable. I am as capable as I think I am. And to have a realization like that, it seems like it's just a little thing, but it's really not. Because when you have dreams and aspirations and just basic goals in your life and you accomplish one that really set a bar, it's, it's a major thing because it proves Get it fucking done. You want it? Do it. So, if you remember during some of those hundred questions I answered a few weeks back, I see a life. I like that life. Sometimes that's what makes me smile when the day gets a little dark. So, 
once again, this is me saying, hey, that life, coming for you. Real talk. I'm coming for you. <laughs> so, oh, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for my realness. Oh, my God, y'all are so not ready. Uh, it's okay. I'll walk you through it. I promise. It'll be okay. You're going to love it. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. Bellissimo. So, I think that's enough for one evening. Especially since I don't really want to get on another crazy tangent. And I do still have more car stuff to do tomorrow. And I am so fucking sore. I've done a lot of shit this week. Um, I love you guys. I really do. Staring down the barrel of that camera right now, looking at all of your faces, thinking about how much I love the fuck out of every one of you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Rarely I do. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I will see you here tomorrow. Yes, 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 yeah. <clears throat> oh my God, my shoulder is so freaking kill right now. <sighs> okay. See how just a nice breath out <sighs> can change. So much. Something so little can mean and be so much. Which is why I say to you, go forth. Share the love. Be the love in somebody's life. Be that little bit of shine in somebody's day. Just a smile when you make eye contact with somebody. You know you look at somebody. <laughs> Holding the door for somebody. Even if it means you stand there an extra couple of seconds. Sometimes that is just like the sweetest thing. You know, you're just like, oh, that means you actually saw me. You saw me coming and made the effort to stand there for an extra two seconds so I didn't have to open the door. Thank you so much for seeing me. Sometimes that's all somebody needs to know that they're not alone, to know that somebody out there sees them. So, go, share the love, see the love. I hope you're having a good day, a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night, a good bit of batch of time. For all bits of time, and all concepts of time, and all concepts of concepts of time, because that's what I want for you. That's what I want for all of us. And sometimes wanting can be enough. When we all want something enough, we can share it. Like Inception. Okay, you guys. I know. And you're like, oh my god, Mo, if you don't shut up, you're just gonna keep talking for like ever and ever. And this video is gonna end up being like four hours long, and you know none of us are gonna fucking watch it. So most of the shit that you're gonna say is just gonna be fucking wasted. So shut up and end that goddamn video. So I'll take your advice. I love you. Good night. Bye. I'm good.
coming in. I'm getting closer. Do you see me? Can you see me? Are you up my nose yet? No? There you go. 